Hello, I'm Yakub Muhammad. Our focus today is on this royalty who within a short period of his reign has effortlessly bring yet another honor to the throne he is sitting upon. We call him a mere nationalist because he takes a relate with everyone without any iota of tribalism. This leaves little to wonder why, despite the different tribes and people with different ideas and cultures abound in his kingdom, there's little or no case of conflict recorded since his ascension to the throne. The nobility of His Royal Highness, the Emir of Gombe, Alhaji Dr. Abu Bakr Shio Abu Bakr the Third, can never be overemphasized. This able leader has exemplified the dictum that yes, kings are born, not made. Despite his vantage position, he still relates and identifies with the people he leads passionately and with every sense of respect. The Emir of Gombe is a man of ideas and a truthful leader who does not shy away from the responsibilities God Almighty Allah bestowed upon him. His selflessness and sheer camaraderie made his people to love, respect and adore him. He is uncompromising and a bridge builder. Al Haji Dr. Abu Bakr Shiva Abu Bakr is a firm believer of educational pursuit. That is why he single handedly sponsored orphans and children with less privileged background back to school. His Royal Highness, the Emir of Gombe, is a person of destiny. He is ordained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to find a defined place in history that demands him to provide leadership in a dynamic world. The idea of becoming an Emir at an early age was not something he anticipated, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in his infinite mercy and designs, decided to make him the Emir of Gombe. Demia was a popular choice of the people of Gombe. Alhaji Dr. Abu Bakr Shehu Abu Bakr Dittard, the present Emir of Gombe, inherited the exalted throne of Gombe Emirate from his father, Alhaji Dr. Sheikh Usman Abu Bakr, CON, who meritoriously served the Emirate for almost 30 years as Emir. He left indelible marks in the actualization of the present Gombe State in October 1996. He was instrumental in rallying the people of Gombe, providing leadership and advice in the effort to make Gombe one of the states in Nigeria. He succeeded through his spirit of consultation, diplomacy, and administrative acumen. Alhaji Dr. Shehu Usman Abu Bakr is gone but he left behind a worthy successor in the person of Al-Hajj Abu Bakr Sheikh Abu Bakr Dittard. The present Emir of Gombe, Al-Hajj Dr. Abu Bakr Sheikh Abu Bakr, is without doubt worthy of respect by all who understand that power comes from Allah. It has become his destiny to rule. Abu Bakr Dittard was born on 17th December 1977 in Gombe. Coming from the home of Islamic scholarship, the quest for knowledge had already become an established family tradition and acquiring both Islamic and Western education becomes significant path to follow. The enrollment of Amy Abu Bakr Dittard into both the Islamic and Western style schools was in keeping with the family tradition of acquiring knowledge. He followed the path established by his great-great-great-grandfather, Modibo Bubayaro, a great Islamic scholar and founder of Gombe Emirates. Modibo Bubayero was a key figure in the jihad that swept across the greater part of northern Nigeria and beyond in the 19th century. It was his passion for enlightened Islamic practice that endeared him to the founder of the Sokoto Caliphate, Shab Usman Danfodio. On completion of his primary school education at Gombe Children's School, Abu Bakr Dittard, he 
he gained admission into the Gombe Science Secondary School, Gombe. He successfully completed his secondary education and secured admission into the prestigious University of Beduguri, where he read political science. After acquiring his degree, he served in the compulsory one-year National Youth Service Program, NYSE, at Ministry of Defense, Abuja, and worked briefly at the same ministry. His pursuit for education and work had never stopped him from maintaining close relationship with his father, the late Emir, drinking from his father's fountain of wisdom and learning from his administrative acumen. Abu Bakr the Todd was known for his humility. It was not for nothing that he was fondly called those who swell as the humble prince cut out for leadership. Upon his ascension to the exalted throne of his forefathers in the year 2014, as the 11th Emir of Gombe, he decided to initiate projects in line with his vision and concern for the development and progress of the people of his Emirate and beyond. Distinguished himself as a modern Emir with the visionary prowess and royal pedigree to lead the 21st century Gombe, he came fully prepared from decades of experience under his late father and the benefit of a royal culture that is found on scholarship and rich history. Al-Haji Abu Bakr Shihu Abu Bakr the Todd immersed himself in projects aimed at transforming the life of orphans, underprivileged children, internally displaced persons, IDBs, the weak and the vulnerable. In 2015, he initiated and registered a foundation by the name Shihu Usman Abu Bakr Foundation. The principal objectives of the foundation are to carry out humanitarian services to the less privileged, physically challenged, and empower youth across all communities within the Emirates and beyond. Since inception, His Royal Highness has, through the foundation, extended his royal generosity to everyone in need, from donating food to the less privileged to providing assistance to internally displaced persons, seeking protection and shelter under his domain, to drilling boreholes in water-scarce areas and IDP's camps to provide succor to his people. His foundation also caters for the financial needs of indigent students in tertiary institutions. In the area of job creation and youth empowerment, his contributions are no doubt legendary. He has been at the forefront of securing hundreds of jobs opportunities for Gombe indigents across various ministries, departments, and agencies. His Royal Highness is always working to ensure that Gombe State and its people get their fair share from the Federation. His Royal Highness intervention in healthcare delivery remains a source of inspiration for the rest of the country. His Royal Highness built and fully equipped an ultra-modern hospital for the care of women and children within Gombe Metropolis to fill the gap in healthcare delivery in the state and their plans to build even more. Notwithstanding, His Royal Highness continues to provide financial aid to people suffering from various health challenges. His Royal Highness' biggest intervention yet is in the education sector, where he sponsored the building of schools and enrollment of over 3,000 children in over 33 primary schools, most of whom from less privileged backgrounds or living in IDP camps after fleeing the insurgency in the region. His Royal Highness intervention transcends the formal education system to the traditional Islamic Sangaya system, where he continued to touch the lives of over 26,000 Almajris across the 333 Sangaya schools in Gombe with the provision of feeding, beddings, and copies of the Holy Quran. One of these remarkable achievements is the building of an Islamic facility with the capacity to accommodate 10,000 students, obviously the largest in the region. In the area of ICT, His Royal Highness has facilitated the full internet networking and equipping of computer laboratories in over 50 schools in Gombe State through the National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA. As part of his effort towards expanding digital literacy, depending digital inclusion, and ensuring that his people get the technical skills to succeed in today's digital world. His Royal Highness has distributed 
3,000 bags of gains to the needy with 5,000 cash each. Enrollment of 1,500 primary one less privileged pupils with all necessary learning materials 2014-2015 academic year. Enrollment of another 1,500 primary one less privileged children with all necessary learning materials 2015-2016 session. Building of Islamia School, which contain about 10,000 pupils in Jekadafari Gombe. Drilling of numerous boreholes in every part of Gombe Metropolis. Distribution of food items and other learning materials to more than 370 Sangaya schools within Gombe Metropolis. Building of more than primary health care with more than equipment at Bolari quarters. Installation of eight solar lights to various Sangaya schools. Secured admission to youth at various tertiary institutions. Secured appointments to our young graduates at various CADA. Build a more than skill acquisition center in Dawaki Ward, Gombe. Secured appointments to youth from military and paramilitary. A leader to emulate His Royal Highness Dr. Abubakar Shiwa Abubakar III, Emir of Gombe, and Chairman Gombe State Council of Emirs and Chiefs. The Emir of Gombe, Al Haji Dr. Abubakar Shiwa Abubakar III, has been conferred with several national and international awards and appointments, which includes Chancellor, Gombe State University, and that of Michael Okmara Federal University of Agriculture, Umudike. Demia of Gombe holds an honorary doctorate degree from the renowned Michael Okmara Federal University of Agriculture, Umudike. Here are the awards. Narto, Award of Excellence, as Grand Patron, 2016. Green Roses Foundation, a recognition of its outstanding support to humanity 2016. 29 Senior Course of Armed Forces Command Staff College, out of excellence in peace and security. Leadership Newspaper, a recognition of its outstanding leadership quality and for being pillar to less privileged in Northeast. Armed Corps, in recognition of its contribution to the less privileged and opens in the society. National Youth Preaching Community Jamaatu Izalatul Bidia, Big Amatu Suna Out of Excellence. Federal Government College Azari Old Student Association in recognition of his service to humanity. National Association of Nigerian Student Nans Peace Ambassadors Award. Command 301 Artillery Regiment Award of Excellence. Build of Shall Limited for support and guidance towards the development of society. Gombe Badminton Club, a recognition of his community development in Gombe State. Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, prestigious award of father of fatherless and less privileged. Ariawa Youth Awareness Forum, IAF, 2016, Saradona Leadership Award. National Association of Nigerian Student Nuns, in the conjunction with ECOWAS Youth Council, Ambassador of Peace. GOSA Award, Lifetime Achievement and Humanitarian Services Award. National Association of Faculty of Social Science Students, NAFAS, Grand Patron. Amin Kano College of Islamic and Legal Studies, Kano, Award of Excellence of Humanitarian Service. Shamaki Ali's Progressive Movement, Philanthropist Awards. Thanks for watching. See you next time. My name is Yaqub Mohammed. Keep a date with us. We will still bring yet another novel icon to your screens.